I am down at the river today and I have one rod and reel with me and I have a ton of micro fishing lures. We are going to see what kind of fish we can catch out here in the river today. This is going to be awesome. Let's go ahead, hop on into it. Like I said, one rod and reel for today. This is the Luz TP1X. This is the medium light version. So we can throw some super light lures on there. And we are starting off with the good old traditional rooster tail. I brought one box of lures with me and these are just a bunch of assorted items. We've got all kinds of different stuff in here and I'm sure we're gonna be able to catch some fish on at least one of these items. So let's go ahead, go on out here into the river, see what we can catch. I'll tell you, getting to this spot was super, super difficult because the water is a little high right now and it's freezing cold so I can't really wade got my rubber boots on so that way I can actually walk in the water a little bit but I have caught a lot of fish right here in the past caught some crappy caught some bass caught some bowfin caught some bluegill caught all kinds of different stuff and we're gonna go see if we can't catch them right here in the same spot where I've caught them before I haven't done this in a while with the micro lures and in the winter it can really pay off so I'm really hoping today we'll be able to get on some so like I said very difficult getting up here and you're about to see a little bit of what I've been having to walk over just a ton of rocks and a ton of water but I've got to get to those spots where those fish are at and that's where we're headed right now. Found us a nice four by four post. If anybody needs one, real nice long one right here. <laughs> I need to get over there. Now, how do we do that safely? I don't know. I've got an idea. That four by four I saw coming in, I think I'm gonna have to use it to actually get across right here. That way I can go to the spot I wanna go to. But I think if I get that four by four, I can actually make it work. So we're about to go and get that thing and try it. It's a little bit harder to balance when you're carrying a 50 pound piece of wood. Well, the 4x4 is right there. It was a great idea, and I think I could probably get it to work right here, but I just had an even better idea. How about I just walk up and then walk across and then walk back down? That was just like, that's the easiest idea right there, so that was a fail. We're just going to go up here and do this. It's a little bit of a farther walk, but hey, it'll work out in the long run. I just want to get down here to this spot, and I want to try a spot over there too, so we need to get over there. Looks like we got us a beaver in the area. Never seen that before. I don't know where his dam's at, though. Clearly not right here. Cause that water's moving buddy we're not there yet but i at least have to make a cast right here have to gotta try it tell you what that's a whirlpool right there this is one of the spots where i did pretty good in the past it's right here so we'll see if it's any good now i haven't had a single bite the whole time so maybe they don't want a little spinner maybe i gotta do something a little bit slower i think i'm gonna have to just throw something on the bottom I have no idea if this one's going to work, and I have no idea if it's going to get hung because it is a little heavy, but we're going to give it a shot and see. All right, changed up again to this little tiny, I don't even know what this thing is, worm or whatever. I, uh, I came and did this before with Mr. John from Creek Fishing Adventures, and we were using baits called trout magnets. And when I used it last time, I did pretty good, so I'm going to try it and see if maybe that's the ticket. There's a lot of this green algae mess all in the river like I've never seen before I'm in another oh gosh really good spot catch a ton of fish here in the spring so I have no idea if they'll be here right now or not but there should be a couple fish well it's official it was totally not worth it for me to walk all the way up here across all those rocks so I saw a couple fish in a pool on my way in and I was like yeah I'll just hit it on the way out but those are the only fish I've seen, so looks like we're headed there. Got a long walk back. We're gonna hit that, and then we're probably gonna hit the pond at the house because they're just not biting here today. I don't even know if those fish I saw are gonna bite. And I saw them, and they were trapped in a pool, but they still might not bite, so we'll see what happens. I don't know, kind of pointless for me to walk all the way up here, but uh, gotta walk on back, and we're gonna hit that spot, see if we can get any. And now this is what I have to cross, and shin boots to get back to my truck so y'all pray for me Golly, bro. yep i knew that was gonna happen well that was a wet one not gonna freaking lie about that good thing i turned the gopro on that doesn't happen to me all day and then it finally just happened Oh yeah, nice bud, nice. This is a different route than I took before. I just figured it might be a little quicker, but it's turning out to be a little wetter than the first, first trip also.
Well, hello, I've got on different clothes because I was wet and I came home and changed clothes and now we're back out at the water at the pond. So got the same box of lures. I actually broke one off in the river so I don't have all of them, but same box of lures, same rod. We're gonna see if we can catch some pond fish now. River fish didn't want to cooperate, as you can tell, so we're hoping they're gonna bite in the pond. Let's see what happens. I don't know if anything will even hit this thing, but figured I'd give it a shot, you know. Last time, only thing they'd bite in here was a drop shot, so. Day two, today is going to be a much better day. Yesterday was an epic fail, and today is going to be great success. I'm out in the John boat today on the pond. Got some minnows with me that actually took like an hour for me to catch with a cast net. Took forever, they're not the right minnows, but we're rolling with it. Got two rods rigged up, got one with all artificials, got one for a minnow, and we're gonna see if we can't catch some crappy, see if we can't catch some bass, see if we can catch just a fish, period, because yesterday we clearly couldn't, but today I'm planning on doing it. So let's go over here, start on this one spot. I've got two big spots I wanna hit. Should catch fish on both. Got my minnow bucket right here. It looks like it's pretty late in the day, but I'm just in the shade. It's probably about three o'clock right now. Probably got about two hours, and uh, I'm really targeting crappy for the most part. I am going to throw out a couple bigger baits, though, see if I can get me a bass, but we'll see what happens. I want to hit these two spots. I'm going to hit this dock, and then I'm going to hit this dam over here. It's got a lot of brush on it, and there should be fish on both. And I got me a little rod holder, too. Check that out. How nice. Oh, yeah. Eat it all the way, buddy. Come on. Eat it all the way. Oh, I got one. I got one. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a little bass. Look at that. <laughs> it's a bass. Thought it might have had me a crappy. It wasn't. First one. Hey. First fish of the day. Dude, I just had one. Come on, eat it, eat it, eat it. That gummit. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What the? What in the world, dude? Well, I just had that hanging off the side of my boat. Quit it, buddy. And it broke my line. There we go. That one was on the micro lure with a bluegill on there at the same time. That was like the craziest catch ever. I'm gonna go ahead and put him back. I was like, I was paddling and I had my rod hanging over the edge of the boat and that bass just came up and ate it. And somehow my line broke. I don't even know how, but it surely did. Well, it's official. I absolutely suck at using micro lures and uh, I'm not good at catching crappy either, so. Next video you guys see will be me fishing for bass with normal bass lures. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.